Nick, uh, Lindsay, congratulations. What does it mean to be the first team uh, to win this event in an Olympic Games to you guys? It's super special. It's amazing to come in here and they start this new event for us and we come in as the veterans and uh, it's just, it's more special, I think, because for me, at least, because I'm older and um, these kids are trying to take over the sport that we've had so much fun and success in and to come here with a new event and get the gold medal, you can get rid of us that easy. Lindsay, we saw the, the heartbreak on Nick after he, you know, didn't make that final. Did you want to win this for him? I did not want to let him down. Uh, I was just planning on just getting to finals and sticking with my game plan of being top two and, you know, would do my best and had a, you know, 75% chance to get on the podium. And I was hoping he would be happy with anything, but I, I knew he was looking for a top spot. So I really didn't want to let him down, even though I was extremely tired. Uh, but I was happy that I came through. Can you describe the swing of emotions you felt in the last 48 hours? It's been crazy. It goes from one side of the spectrum to the other for sure. But again, that's it's those lows that make the highs so good. That day, two days ago, was was it hurt. I'm not going to lie. It hurt bad. And everyone saw that in my um, emotions in my, in my interview. But um, to come back and fight through that and get it done today is it's the best way for it to happen. 80s babies. Love that line. <laughs> what, what, what have you just done for people, you know, of an older generation? Not, not to age you, Lindsay, um, but just I know, Nick, you're the oldest guy on this Olympic team, 40 years old, and you just won a gold medal. I've, I mean, I can only hope that it inspires so many people to just take control of their life. Whatever you're doing, if you're not doing what you love, Find a way to do what you love and no matter what, no excuses, work hard, put in that work, fight through every bit of adversity and you never know what could happen. 40 years old with a gold medal. Are you kidding me? I would have never been able to think of that script. And it's just, it's unbelievable. And I hope people see that and it inspires them to do amazing things for themselves. Have you thought of what that moment's going to be like when you hand that medal to your son? I know that every time I think about it, I almost start crying again. So it's going to be good. He's going to have the coolest show and tell thing to bring to school. And I will gladly hand it right to him and, and let him take it there and share that with everyone because he's uh, graduating from the same high school that I went to, West Iron County. And um, I'll be doing the commencement speech in May for his graduating class. So I think this just makes it special. And it allows me to change my speech a little bit now that we've... Uh, gotten the gold medal it's going to get better <laughs> Lindsay you're, you're the first U.S. athlete to win two golds here how, how have you done it how difficult has that journey been for you since 2006 it's been very challenging to be put under the microscope every time that you come to the Olympics and you know I have my own expectations that I said on myself but then having the media's pressure it's definitely very challenging and what I focused on over the last eight years was really trying to get myself mentally prepped for this and I was working with Denny Shul from the Rethink group and my coach Peter founder for me and it's been an amazing connection um, we really focused on like understanding our emotions behind a reaction so it didn't get the better best of us and drain our like drain your energy and I really think that that's been a very key moment because I've been able to voice my emotions because I've always been very closed off with not knowing so many athletes don't really want to share their emotions if they're afraid if they're if they're concerned because it shows a, a sense of weakness and by being more open and being able to tell my coaches my PTs then they realize that I'm needing something and I can, you know, get that, get that fulfilled in that moment. That's great. And Nick, last question for you. How big is the party going to be in the upper peninsula? Man, when I cross that border from Wisconsin into the UP, it's going to get crazy. And um, I'm going to probably do, well, not probably, I know I'm going to be doing a school tour to share this with everyone. The coolest thing about my journey is just the support I get from up there. And there's so many people that um, enjoy this journey and get to come with me. And it's the, it's the best part about it. So I'm going to share it with everyone. 
and we are going to party. Youpers are going to go nuts. And uh, I'm so proud to be able to be the reason why they do that.